What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel. So we are just doing a weekly update video again. A lot of people like these because, you know, it's a bit of a reminder of, you know, to swap out players with your squad for the weekend if you are looking for a session on the weekend. So obviously every week with the live update, you will see different players will have different ratings. Um, and the best way to look at this, you can do both methods. As I said, I usually give I usually give my pick of like five or six players that I definitely think are worth putting into your squad. And the whole point of this series is, you know, to recycle the players that you're using and also it gives you a chance to use players that you normally wouldn't use because they're on A form. I wouldn't usually recommend these players above somebody else. Um, but for instance, like say you use Salah a lot and he's on D rating, you might use somebody that's similar to Salah, doesn't have as many stats, but because he gets the A rating, he's going to get a stat boost up to his squads and he gets the arrow rating. So I've already covered a lot of that in the other videos. If you are a newcomer, go back and check out those. But very simply, we can just go down to live update rating and we're going to stick to the A players at the moment. There's a couple of guys I definitely think you need to get in there. Um, you can also, if you want to, you can use eFootballDB very easily. Just go to the homepage, go to players, search filter, and then go to A to A. And then what I also like to do is go down to ability and then uh, put form up to tree. And that puts the unwavering form up as well. And then you can obviously search position or whatever. But this gives you a list of all the players that are on A form this week that also have unwavering form. So it's just an extra step if you want to search that way. So you can see Haaland, Kane, Rodri, Cruz, Coke, Koke, Griezmann, Zelinski, Pau Torres, Saka. There's a lot of good players there, right? So there's two methods of doing it. Um, yeah, obviously we're going to start with Haaland. Haaland is probably the ultimate super sub, the ultimate player to have. I know a lot of people love using him starting off the game. And I do as well, man. I love when he's up front. He's just such a threat up front when he's on A form. And especially the fact that, you know, when you have him maxed out, like I mean maxed out stat-wise, even just his regular version, right? Even just his regular version. It doesn't matter what version you're using. There's a player of the week version of him this week as well, obviously. But even his regular version, man, is going to be an absolute like monster when you train him up because you're going to be getting that arrow um, upgrade as well of maybe a couple of, of points to his stats. Now, obviously the only thing with Haaland is his lack of balance, which is an issue. But I think for the rest of his stats, you're going to have a very, very beastly player. Um, you know, and I think that he's definitely worth using if you are looking to get somebody not, I wouldn't say like a little bit different, but obviously it's Haaland, like he's a machine. But even when you look at his, his maxed out stats there, right? Uh, he doesn't take that much to max out. He's only got 25 levels. He takes about, you know, 120,000 trainer points, which he should have, but he's got 92 speed, 94 kicking power, 91 awareness. Uh, for offensive awareness and then 90 finishing now his balance and acceleration are quite low for a center forward if you're using as a 4-3-3 or using him as your main link man um, up front but the fact that he just scores goals for fun man from everywhere like he literally scores everything he even scores a ton of headers and he's only got 70 header and then also you've got different versions of him the player of the week version of him and stuff like that so he is definitely probably the pick of him this week i would also say um we'll go back here a sec i would also say that one of the picks for me this week as well is Zelensky. This guy is a monster, especially on A form. Obviously, with the, the standard players, you're going to have to train him up in a specific way. But this guy is a machine, man. He is one of the best attacking midfielders in the game because of the stats that he has. Now, you might be thinking, right, obviously, you're used to playing, you know, somebody in attacking midfielder that could be down this week. And you might want to rotate in a player that is able to do everything. Well, Zelensky is potentially able to do everything that you could possibly want him to do he's got excellent dribbling excellent ball control excellent speed excellent stamina pretty much everything that you could possibly want from a player if we look at him here like you can mess around with his stats quite a bit you can get 80 speed 81 stamina 80 acceleration 76 offensive awareness you can even put in a couple of defensive if you want to play him central i wouldn't but you can just kind of max out what he wants to do the only thing he can't really do is shoot so if you're used to shooting with your amf um then obviously that's going to be a slight issue but i would probably max him out like this i would leave his dribbling and passing in the mid 80s and then i would put up his dexterity a little bit i don't think you need as much speed and stamina um and then obviously you can just put those little passes in there if you want to have a nice little player that can you know potentially be a lovely player for you when he's on a form because of the boost that he gets he's also got really good player skills as you see here a very nice player skills and he's got that unwavering form as well so 
there is a lot of other players uh, I would also recommend Saka if you haven't tried him before he's a really good winger in it he can play left back as well a lot of people play him left back they used to play him left back in eFootball 22 he also has unwavering form um, I would also recommend Davies obviously if you have any version of his card he is a monster when he's on A form as well. Obviously, you know, you do take a bit of a gamble with a few of these players. There's a couple of down, down here that um, are going to be players that you really have to look at in a different way because they're on A form. This guy is a machine as well, Grimaldo. Uh, if you have him, I really like him. I definitely think he's worth uh, popping into your squad. He goes to like a, an insane um, 35 levels, if you see there. He's got a really, really, really nice player card. I definitely think he's worth it. He's able to pass a lot of the, a lot of the time with left backs and stuff or right backs. They're able to do one thing good, but they're not able to do a lot of other things. Whereas this guy, he's just an absolute machine, man. He's really, really fast. You know, you've got, when we go over here, you've got 88 speed, 91 stamina and 87 acceleration, but he's also able to dribble. You know, you're able to pump in a couple of stats into his dribbling and into his passing so you've got an 89 left back and that's just even you know 10 into defending as well there's a lot of move movement with him um i would probably say as well tony cruz rodri rodri's one of the best dmfs in the game definitely one of the best dmfs in the game when you do actually have him uh you know on a form that's the key like a lot of these players you might say you know for me for example am i really going to play rodri ahead of patrick vieira or Claude makalele i'm not potentially i'm not um but because rodri is on a form i'm going to have him in because he's got a form and he's got unwavering form so he's going to be an absolute machine and i know i can depend on him Saliba as well he's another player that i would definitely recommend we've also got a couple of players on b timber pavard kimmich they're all on b there as well we've got a couple on the bench as well that are worth looking at goretzka uh, Matoma, he's actually a monster. I would recommend him if you don't have him. I have the Japanese version of him, and his stats are ridiculously good as well. Um, so yeah, if you do want to check the B players as well, you can do that. Obviously, they won't be um, you know, as good as the A's, naturally enough. Um, but you've got the Bruyne, you've got Benzema, you've got Courtois, Kimmich, Bernardo Silva, Goretzka, Fabinho. You've got a lot of good players there, and I definitely think lads. If you are a newcomer to the game, it is very vital that you are playing informed players because they play, obviously, with the stat boosts more consistently. If you're playing a player that has like a C or a D form, such as um, Mbappe this week, I think, has C form. Or, D, yeah, C form. And then Salah has D. So if you're used to playing with them, you know, you're going to want to rotate them out. You know, the same with Varane there. Um, the same with Van Dijk, he's on C. Um, and there's a lot of players that are on B and A. Dembele was on A last week, he's on D now. So make sure that you do check out that. And again, it's something very simple, but those are my picks for this week. So yeah, that is it for me. I will talk to you in a bit. A very simple video, but just a bit of a reminder for you. Let me know what players you're using with the live update this week, and I'll talk to you in a bit. Peace.